Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new so far. We are going to jump in again and this time we are going to go as Tinted Mammon. I think it's been a little while. We've actually apparently not done Tinted Mammon in a really long time. So let's give Tinted Mammon a go. I really enjoy Tinted Mammon just for the ability to, um, Sacred Dreams is still causing errors. Just for the ability to get some really cool shop items. It's kind of like that nice mix between, um, Tainted Keeper and, um... What's that other character called? Bale? The one with all the curses? Because this character kind of has his own curses as well. So it's kind of like a nice mix between the two, to be honest. Um, and we get ourselves... Taking damage grants a permanent broken heart. That seems very risky. <laughs> a permanent broken heart. It only gives us seven. I don't think that's quite fair. Now, this guy drops creeps. Let's be careful for that. Luckily, this guy does start with pretty good stats. I'm pretty sure he just starts with Isaac stats. Uh, we did also get a golden key here, which I don't think we'll need, but it's nice to have. Um, yeah, don't, really, really, really don't get hit. Like, really, really don't get hit, because that would be very tragic to get a permanent broken heart for the rest of the run for being hit on the first floor. Now, this is actually a pretty rough room, to be honest. Um, these little red fly enemies are particularly a pain. Um, as you can see, they kind of keep doing this smash against the wall move that I can't really get out of the way of. How on earth did I not get hit there? I'm having a real hard time getting out of the way of, to be honest. We got him. We got him. Uh, we can't go into our shop yet. <laughs> we'd like, we'd, it, it, this is risky because I need at least 15 cents to buy an item. So I'm hoping some enemies drop Curse Trinkets. Basically, if you guys haven't seen this guy before, uh, as we play, we get Curse Trinkets and all of our items we get from the Tainted Keeper type shops. Um, and we basically sell our curses at the shop for the value of said curse and get that money back. But, curses can drop from room clears and enemy kills, as well as item rooms and bosses. Um, so you just gotta kinda get lucky, and unfortunately thus far, we're not getting very lucky, really at all. Really at all. Um, I was really hoping to get at least one extra curse trinket before I did the boss. But I guess we've just gotta go for it, and, uh, we'll get our second curse trinket from the boss. I mean, technically we could get one from a fly he spawns, but I feel that's somewhat unlikely. I don't know how, uh, I don't actually even know really if the spawned enemies can give you, uh, trinkets, but we'll see. Unfortunately, I don't have any bombs to work with here, and he is spawning quite a lot of pooters. It's always annoying when he spawns a bunch of pooters, like, especially when he gets doubled up like that. Because now I have to focus so much of my energy and time on just killing the fucking pooters, that I don't get time to actually kill him. Luckily, with that charge attack, you can kind of make him kill his own gals there, so... It's kind of worth doing that, but so, sometimes, I don't know, I feel like there's like a few different modes for this boss. Sometimes he's like in a real aggressive mood where he just likes to charge all the time, even if you're not at the right angle. And other times he just like, yeah, does this where he just spawns a thousand pooters non-stop. Luckily, once he's in second phase, it's no problem. Unfortunately, the item he gives us is pretty bad. I can't remember if we do get boss items this character. I think we do. We do, but unfortunately not what I wanted. Um, we'll take that, yeah. Not a not a good boss item. I didn't, I didn't realize it was going to cost us money. I I think we'll have enough here to buy a single item. Um, I'm hoping so, at least. Oh, wait, shop, shop, shop. Just depends what items we get given, really. This has been a pretty bad start, to be honest. Um, pretty bad start, indeed. And we can take this. Item pedestals reroll when you touch them. Reroll items will attempt to be of a higher quality. Okay, so this is... This is a really wacky item, because now we basically don't know what items we're ever picking up, because they'll always be re-rolled, but they'll always be re-rolled into higher quality if possible, so... It does generally mean that you're going to get better items overall. Unfortunately, we can't get the cube of rot, but you see what I mean by, like, the amount of money required to, like, full clear this floor means you probably would need a lot more curses, but oftentimes you do get a lot more curses, so... We just got really, really unlucky on that floor. Now, at least we don't have the, uh, the broken heart thing anymore. Aha, I see how this room works. We don't have the broken heart thing going on anymore, so we don't have to worry about um, getting hit now. Although, obviously, still a good idea to not get hit. Um, as for the question of the day-to-day, -day, um, I don't actually have a good one in mind. I need to get back on the chat GPT thing I was doing the other day. Um, oh, there you go. We got something there. So, unfortunately, some of the care trinkets aren't really takeable because they're really, really rough. That thing, I think that is one of them. Um... Outside of treasure rooms, cursed trinkets are replaced with a single penny, yeah. In treasure rooms, are replaced with a mammon-style stack of coins. Basically, you don't get any more cursed trinkets if you take that one, which is literally ruins the entire point of the character, so I'll be honest, I don't really know why it exists. Um, but this is good. Small random stat down every time you gain health. Stats lost for revered when sold. 
I'll take that as well for a bit of uh, bit of killing power. Honestly, let's leave the item room to last, because uh, it could give us something bad. And basically, Cares Trinkets, you can't leave them in a room and come back for them. You have to take them in the room, otherwise they disappear. Um, so it's, it's it's a bit of risk-reward. You've got to kind of take them, take them while you got them. Oh, this is a kind of a rough room here, especially with no bombs. I can see myself getting hit in here quite a bit. Luckily, I managed to scare that guy just about. Question of the day is, why is Isaac doing so poorly on my channel? <laughs> it's it's a sad day. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's just the, the general fluctuation of content. It seems to be on my channel that things fluctuate, like... Sometimes Isaac will be doing really, really well, then all of a sudden it'll take a random hit, and then like a month or two later it'll be back up to where it was before, and then it'll kind of fluctuate like that. Or it could just be that Isaac is slowly di dying, which obviously it's been slowly dying since its last content update. Um, mods obviously help, but in terms of views-wise, it's always going to be going downhill. Um, and it's it's just a shame. It's just a shame to see the... Uh, the, like, the, the, the content on the channel, the, the Isaac content on the channel doing... It's not doing terribly by any means. Uh, I'm still getting, like, 500 to 600 views an episode, maybe 700 sometimes. But it's a far cry from where it used to be. I mean, we we were at one point getting, like, eight 900 guaranteed. And then before that, we were getting, like, 1,000. And then before that, we were getting, like, 2,000. There was a day where I was getting 2,000 views an episode. It was amazing. But unfortunately, for some reason, that that, like... That awesomeness just never, it never, the traction just didn't really stick. I don't know. It, I think it's it's partly to do with the type of content I make. I mean, take a look at someone like Lazy Matt Man. Obviously, he's kind of dominating the Isaac scene on YouTube at the minute. And he makes short form edited runs, which I think is what people prefer nowadays. Um, I, I think back in the day when I started this channel, when Northern Lion was the big Isaac shit, people were bigger into the, the long form, like the content like this. Um... 25% chance to not fire a tier sounds a little risky, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, I think I think when I started this channel, I started it sort of based on the fact that that's, this is the sort of thing that I wanted to do and the sort of thing I was watching, but also the sort of thing that generally people were watching. And I think that sentiment has changed a little bit. But at the same time, I don't really know if I want to get into doing content like that. Although I have nothing against content like that. I think... Um, I think, for one, you lose a bit of personality. I'm not saying that Lazy Mountain doesn't have a personality. He definitely does. His content is pretty good. Um, but, like, obviously you don't get the full context of the conversations and stuff. And there's not much point in sort of telling stories and stuff when you're only getting half the picture sort of thing. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Um, and then, obviously, as well, there's the effort of actually having to edit the videos down constantly. That makes things harder. Um, most certainly makes things harder. And also is a lot more time consuming, which I don't really have the time for. Because um, then I'd have to do the full run. Plush mascot. I don't know what plush mascot does. We'd have to do the full run. And then um, spawns a set of patch ball items from the special pool each floor. Nice. Uh, that's pretty good for a character like this, actually. Um, Dingle. Obviously not the best situation to fight this guy in with the... Uh, 25% chance for our shots to just not exist. But we shouldn't... It shouldn't take too long to kill this guy. This guy's the four dasher, isn't he? Yeah, four dashes. Um, oh, that was so stupid of me. I don't even know why I did that. I, I can't I can't fathom to you why I did that. Um, but yeah, so it's like I could try it and see if it does any better. But at the same time, I think YouTube is... Oh, one second, I'm getting a phone call. All right, let's continue on. I apologies about that. So many phone calls. Okay, yeah, this 25% chance to not fire a shot thing is definitely letting me down here. Um, it's making this a little harder than it has to be. But luckily, this guy's created a barrier of red poops, which makes it actually a lot easier to fight him. I've got, like, a little bit of a protective layer. And I don't think this guy spawns dips either, which is kind of nice. He just created this craziness of red poops. We've got him more than halfway already, but... I didn't know he spawned regular poops as well, actually. He spawned a regular poop here, and I've never seen him do that before. I love visually how he looks, though. It's a really good uh, version of this of this boss. Although, I think visually in the uh, in the character bar, like the, the health bar, it's a bit wrong. I think that's because of uh, a discrepancy between the improved bosses mod and the, uh, the health bar, custom health bar mod. Right, he's done.
Okay, that's a good one to get, actually. I'm, I'm very glad I waited. So I'm going to get a ton of money here. I've got a lot of curses on me. Probably going to get, like, over 20 cent. Um, and then we can see what's what with the, uh, the actual stuff in the shop here. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I buy Ceiling with the Stars because it's quality 3. It gets upgraded into quality 4. I really hate that that can happen. I mean, Storm Whistle is not bad for us at all. But I really, really hate that it, the the item can be... It can eat itself. It's dumb. It shouldn't be able to eat itself. Um, and I'll save my money. I'll go to the next floor. Yeah. It shouldn't be able to create an active item and destroy itself. Especially so soon. Like, have some respect for yourself, damn it. Right, down we go. But yeah, Star Whistle plus this plushy thing. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of purchasing power right now. Broken Murdom, nice. Um, Perky go here as well. Dog's Tooth is pretty good too. So we've got a lot of good stuff here, and we can uh, gather some money. I'm glad we have got these Rotten Hearts though. It bolsters our power a little bit, room to room. Broken Murdom's a great one to grab here. Yeah, we've got a lot of uh, extra shopping power on our side at the moment, which we quite like. Oh god, whoa, 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 whoa. This room is like, for some reason, ridiculously laggy. I don't know what the case is with that, I don't know why that is, but... Something going on there. I can't even grab that one. Forces us to fire out every key we have, which isn't obviously something I'd like to take anyways, but even if I wanted to, I can't. Okay. Hopefully we get another floor like the last one and just get a ton of curses. Only thing about this character is, like, it's kind of what I've been saying in previous episodes about how the womb kind of ruins the flow sometimes. This character, basically, his entire gimmick just kind of falls apart once you get to the womb. Although I think there might be shops on the womb, though, with this guy. I can never remember. Oh, man. There you go. Extra key. Thank you. We'll just keep step-stepping our, our ways through. See what we can do here. Okay, some of these enemies are pretty tricky. Oh god. The Broken Murdom kind of screwed me there. Remember back in the day when Broken Murdom used to just pour shots in the air and not actually destroy them? And so it was literally just a downgrade every time. It was always bad to have. At least nowadays it deletes the shots. For a while there, it was, like, pretty much completely pointless. Yeah, come on, trinkets. Reveal you. The rooms like this are great. Really, really high trinket chance. Enemies like that are not good, though. Oh, my God. I say really high trinket chance, but then we get absolutely diddly squat. Wow. Not a single one, really. Also, I lost a lot of HP there as well, which... Ain't too good. Now, we need some power increases pretty soon. Because at the minute, um... I this guy has turned himself green to mimic a real frog. <laughs> um... Yeah, at the minute, we're really kind of struggling. I, th I think that the items we've got so far are nice. But they're not the best for actually the our current situation. They're good long run, but they're not good current. I am a bit peeved at the moment, I'll be honest, though. Because... Yeah, the, the entire character gimmick is relying on these Chaos Trinkets, and we ain't getting any of them right now. Okay. We need more of them. That last floor was amazing. But this floor's been a bit iffy. For some reason, that, that double room is just really, really laggy. I don't really know why. Calm down, little dippies. Today I've got big business day. I'm off. Um, I'm off to meet with someone at um, our offices. Well, I say our offices. I, I work from home, so we don't really have an office, but we have like a lease at an office building, um, basically, so that we have a registered address. Um, but we don't really use it that much. Um, and there, like, there's like a managing group that manages the clients in that building, and I'm going to meet with them today. Uh, so I'm all dressed up business like, feeling like a big boy, big boy. Oh, each one of these has its own chance. Okay, this is this is potentially quite good. I wouldn't have expected each one of these to have their own separate chance to drop a trinket. This could be good for us, but at the same time, I feel like I'm probably going to get hit a few times. 
with the bouncy bouncies and all that. Especially with my low damage right now. It's taking forever to kill some of these guys. I think I basically have to target the broken murder ones. Gotta wait until they get paused and then target them specifically. Like that guy just got paused there, so target him for a little second. Unfortunately, it looks like we're only getting one trinket here. Maybe two, but so far only one. Ah, you bastard. Okay, we might just die in this room. This is insane. There's far too much going on in here. I always forget how much more difficult this boss is once he's there. Uh, in his little form. Come on, little guys. Just die. I don't want to die. I wonder what the trinket chance is, because it must be excruciatingly low, and I just get lucky sometimes. That was very close. Get onto the little guys now. Damn, yeah, I must just get really unlucky, because getting a trinket straight away implies that any one of these could drop another trinket, and we just, we're just getting on. Yeah, not, not particularly too jazzed about the, uh, the situation of having less damage right now. Considering our damage is already pretty piss poor. Don't you move, please. Extra money on the floor is nice. Electric voice could be problematic. Calm down, calm down. Oh, the, the electric dude with his broken murder is pissing me right off. Just become killable, guy. Become killable. Oh, did that just eat all those shots? No, it did not. No, it did not. I think I have to go to the shop, you know. I was going to try and hold out for my boss, but... There is also some red hearts back there that I didn't even think about. I should go grab those. I'd like to get more bombs for that, please, as well. Um, that'd be rather nice. More bombs for the Mega Mushroom. Lovely stuff. Right, Shoppeth, what do you hold for me? Unfortunately, I've only got two curses to sell, so I'm not going to get much out of this. Let's see what items are available. We've got Dog Tooth back there if we want it. We've got some good stuff here. Oh, we got some very good stuff here. I'd like more money. We almost got enough to buy two, so we're definitely buying Capricorn, obviously. And I think we're going to buy Hypno Ring as well. Hypno Ring's very good. Puts us in a better spot. Something I do want to check, actually, is if I plop down another another whistle next to my other one, can I blow them up for consumables, or does that not really, does it not really give me much? Oh, wait, no, I've got to use a key on them. Oh, it did give me a cursed trinket, though. I wasn't expecting that. Um, no one can be picked up, attempts to heal. Okay. I wonder if that's something that I can rely on, or if that's like just a small chance. If I can rely on getting a um, getting a trinket from one of those guys every time, that would be pretty amazing. Although I, I I'll be honest, I highly doubt it'll give me one every time. I think I just got lucky. Right, Hypno Ring plus uh, Broken Murder seems like a really good combo, to be honest. Considering we can't currently pick up hearts, that is not good. Broken Murder, killing it right now, destroying all these shots. I feel really weak, though. I really like the Capricorn plus um, broken uh, plus Hypno Ring visuals that we've got going on right now. Look at our character. He looks so cool. One of the things I love about Isaac is the, the visual change to the character. I've been playing Risk of Rain recently on the channel. Uh, started recording that a bunch. And I, that's another game that has like visuals for the character I really like. Yet another boss item we can't get. This is this is bad. Like, unfortunately, we are just getting kind of shafted because we're not able to buy any of our boss items, and we're not getting enough money to really buy the other items too. So we're in a we're in a spot where we've not really got a lot going on right now. This this character seems heavily heavily luck dependent on, for one that you get care trinkets full stop, and for two that care trinkets you get aren't too detrimental. 
Like at the minute we've got the Broken Heart one yet again, which is uh, kind of scary to me. Yeah, Broken Murder plus Hypno Ring is, is a double I quite like. The Curse of the Blind one's so funny. It grants you Curse of the Blind, but you can just go to the shop and get rid of it. <laughs> Good. Come on, Curse Trinkets. I need like 10 of them. I also need to not get hit ever because if I do, I get a broken heart. I didn't even see what that said there. I just picked it up. It said some transform something into a random curse. You two are in a really awkward position for me to hit you and not take damage right now. All of you are, to be honest. In fact, fuck it. This is such an awkward room. I'm just going to bomb you. No! Lost my stat up and gained a broken heart. All sorts of bad. All sorts of bad. Great stuff. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I guess at this stage, let's just go do like a... Or let's just continue the same run I just restarted. Let's just go do like a challenge or something. That was a really piss poor run, unfortunately. Um... Let's go attempt a challenge, shall we? What are we going to try? We, have we, oh, we've done that, okay. Hot potato is always a fun one. We can give hot potato a try. Oh, that actually uses it. My, my bad, my bad. Oh my god. Okay, restart, restart. This is this is this has been a terrible start to this. Stay near him, thank you. Spider bite is maybe nice, I don't know. I don't know how useful spider bite will be. One great thing about this challenge is if you want to, you can just kind of cheese the whole thing. Um it's a little hard to do, but well, I won't say hard to do, but it's a little time consuming to do. But you can cheese the whole challenge if you want to, and I will be cheesing it in, in many, many rooms. We do get a crawl space here, I wonder... I wonder what will be down here. Oh, it's an actual uh, thingy as well. I mean, I'll take this, because this could be really good. Unfortunately, we don't have a library this time. Why did I just hold on to him there? Um, unfortunately... Yeah, lots of good items. No way to purchase any of them. Oh, great. That's exactly what I meant to do, game. Okay, restarting again. It just threw me down the well. Oh, my God. Open the fucking door. There you go. My goodness. I do actually want to grab that, though. See what that is. It's an was. God damn, I forget how difficult this challenge is. I absolutely steamrolled this challenge the first time I did it. Oh my god, he just doesn't throw where you want him to at all. He's a bad boy. Alright, Crawl Space 2, Electric Boogaloo. I'm unsure how that would work, but I'm curious to see. Oh, bugger off. Let go of me. I'm guessing this would kill me, but I'm not entirely sure. It does not. It does not damage me. This is pretty good. This is pretty awesome. So now I have, like, this double explosion going on. I like this a lot. This is very cool. <laughs> this is a really, really good addition to this run. So now I no longer have to rely on waiting for the explosion to proc. I can just proc my own explosion. Which seems very, very good. Very, very good indeed. The pony is nice, but I don't need it. 
Um, secret room. Secret room. There you go. Just a lot of bombs. This is one of my rooms, I think. That it is. Extra pennies. Okay, there we go. Now, now what we need, now what we need is Hurst Hat. <laughs> then we're really cooking with gas. Right, down we go. Let's see if we can hot potato this up. One moment, just gonna pause a second. There you go, just remember to put my laptop on charge for later on. But this is, this is not what I was expecting to do today, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. Boom. <laughs> That's just beautiful. And the, the, the explosion room of Kamikaze seems to be bigger as well, which is even better. And like I said, I can do it mid-air. I really didn't- I really thought it would hurt me. I really didn't expect this to work. I don't know why, to be honest. It kind of makes sense that it works this way. I can't- I, yeah, I just didn't expect it to work this way. Give me all those pennies. I should be going to my cash rooms as well, because it's free. That hurt me, because I'm stupid. Ooh, Eye of Balor, and what's the other one? Kilmora. I do need to throw you, by the way, dude, so just just chill out, can you? There you go. Really, you're gonna do that and give me more? The explosion timer is, is just, like, wrong enough to be annoying. Oh, I... Do you know, the double explosion is, is really messing with me right now. It's good, but it, it, it is it is awkward. There's soy milk there. I don't even know what that would do for us. I'm just gonna take it, because like, considering the explosions, I don't think it really matters. I don't think it's gonna change our explosion damage, is it? You're stopping a dick! Oh my god. Stop. Give me that. Crack key. There's apparently a penny in here. Look, penny. Yeah. Honestly, just just bomb it. Oh, it puts the bomb at his body. Fuck you, game. Fuck you sometimes, game. So awkward this. I think I bought a key there by accident. Compass is going to be very valuable here. Okay, we finally got enough health to chill out. I like the locusts I'm getting from my trinket. Double boom. You're dead. Doubt Devil Deal can give me anything that I want, so let's zoom away from that. Fuck's sake. Why'd I have to get this room? <laughs> of all the rooms, this is such an awkward one because I can't just leave. Good. We're out. Let me escape. Oh my god, the explosion radius, man. What I should be doing, really, is just skipping rooms that are too too difficult. Rooms that have a ton of enemies or whatnot. Just skip. How did that not de-head him? Is he, is he not one of the ones that can be de-headed? Dude, I'm going to kill myself so quickly doing this.
Oh my god. The way that you throw him and he just zooms past where you intended him to land is just like, oh, the most infuriating thing. Okay, we're going to need money because I want to get Voodoo Doll here. There's a Tinted Rock here as well. Lovely stuff. Let's go do the boss. Oh, man! The, the, I'm getting so confused because the radius of the of the kamikaze explosion is so much larger than the regular explosion. So I'm getting out of the way of the regular explosion radius, but not out of the way of the kamikaze explosion radius, and I'm still getting hit. Like that. That I was perfectly out of the way then. Oh my god. I need a Hurst hat so bad. There's more of them. This is inhumane. There are more pennies. It's a luck penny as well. Lovely stuff. Now that's pretty beautiful when you can do that. Well, one penny off. Oh, I'm so busy getting out of the way of the troll bomb, I just sat there while the other bomb exploded. It's frustrating, man. This is very frustrating. I did it again. I need to fucking be on it with moving out of the way of things. Oh, really? Enemies that are invincible? No! Get off of me! How has that not hit you? I'm so frustrated right now. That didn't hit you, okay. The game's just, just clearly trolling me right now. I need some tinted rocks here, game. You didn't give me any, you bastard. There's our pennies, lovely. Oh, right, crawl space once again. How do I get through here? Oh, I see, I'm just gonna go under. You, you do your thing. I've, I've, I've lost so much health to this. This is such a good run. I've just kind of whiffed it. Right. Down we go. To the next floor. Please. <laughs> I need to escape this. I need more HP. I, I've had so much HP over the course of this run. It's been so generous to me and I've just kind of thrown it all away. I think I got hurt by the penny then. Wow, got very lucky with those. Very lucky indeed with those. Oh, man, just I can fly in, don't worry. I have to throw you into the red block, are you kidding me? Well, that was pretty good. Managed to get some extra stats out of that. I was really hoping for speed, to be honest. Speed's like the only stat we care about right now. Fucking stop blowing up, you dick! How on earth did that not bomb the door? The, the, the explosions of the doors is like... Seems to be such a specific angle. Also, great. Oh, fuck off, man. <laughs> I'm so tired of this already. <laughs> oh, that was a speed down. Why'd I take that? Honestly, Kamikaze is fucking me up so bad. It's just the timing of everything seems off.
It's good and bad. Crawl space again. Fuck off. This is so frustrating, man. <laughs> Back down to three health. Yeah, proper throws off my timing. That's nice. Genesis is kind of interesting as an item, really, here. Although I'd have to give up Kamikaze for it. Oh uh, no. I'm gonna try it anyways. Hold off for a little bit and then I'm gonna Genesis. Because the thing is with Genesis, I can skip a floor with it. You stop being a dick and getting in the way, man. Mate, why can't you make tinted rocks? What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's like the only thing this card's useful for, and it's incapable of doing it. Oh lord, do I have to? Do I have to press that? I don't even know what I just did there, but it was bad. I did not mean to do that at all. Um, he's going to end up blowing stuff up and, and walking me into things, isn't he? Right. You need to, like, get very much away. Um, I guess. I didn't mean to use space bad. I don't know how I ended up doing that. Well, a lot of these are pretty pointless for us, to be honest. I don't think damage does anything for us. Don't you dare fall down the hole, by the way. Stay the fuck away from that. <laughs> um... Damage taken is doubled. Okay. Buying a devil deal, 35% chance to not cost. Fuck it, take that. Okay, this was all round not good. I, I, I whiffed so hard. I don't know what I was meant to do. I don't know why I pressed spacebar, I'll be honest. Monstrance was by far the best thing we got out of that. This book could also be good for us. It could also be... Very terrible. But Monstrance is very helpful. Also, not having Kamikaze, although not as fun, is probably better for my sanity. Oh, fuck no. Thank God it can destroy them as well, because, yeah, that was pretty horrible. Yeah, this is the sort of room where it's like obvious to just just ditch. Why do you zoom past the enemies? Just stop at the enemy, please. For once. Oh my god. You never listen. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. But I did. Right. Just do more damage on hit, please. Stop being a dick. Oh my lord. Oh, 
so many of these rooms are evil. High Priest is good for the boss. Whether that I might... Dude! How do you zoom past all those enemies, man? Just behave yourself. Stop at the enemy. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Um, uh, no it isn't. Do I have to like... Nope, I just can't... Okay, I've got to throw it at him to take those. That's weird. Okay. Don't use High Priestess here, it wouldn't really do much for us. I think I hurt myself there. I'm pretty sure I, on the womb I take double double damage now, by the way, So with this book. So that's going to be fun. How far have I got to go here? I've got to go to Satan. God damn it. Right, this is going to be all bombing through doors. I don't care about anything else. Just bomb through every door. And hurt yourself whenever possible. That's, it's always a good bonus to, to just give yourself a little love time. Well, that worked out just nicely. Oh my god, explode faster, you absolute fool. Spirit sword? Oh really? It doesn't work? I was hoping he'd still have the sword. Good stuff. I mean, the axe wouldn't have done anything either, so it's not as if I lost anything there, but... It is a bit sad. Only thing is, I'm not getting charges for my book, which is, like, the only thing that keeps me alive. Like, it, basically, I've got the book to take double damage and nothing else currently, if I don't complete rooms. All I'm doing with it is taking double damage and gaining nothing from it, so... Not the hottest idea I've ever had. Oh, dude, just stop flying past them. Land on them. There should be some sort of stickiness to him. Otherwise, he's useless. Yeah. Play some rooms, get some book charges. That's nice. Good. Hopefully go the right way this time. Get hit by a laser. Get a bunch of stuff that's pointless. It's not good at the minute. It's not good. Roly poly boys, stay away. I need to hold on to him for a little longer. Like, kind of charge him up. So that he explodes in midair like that. Makes them a lot easier to use. There you go. Looks like we're going the right way at the moment. Did that last room not give me a charge for some reason? I got half a black heart from a poop. I don't know, I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Maybe I have some sort of item that's causing that. Okay, one hit off death, so things are going exactly as planned. If only it was to Mum's heart, then maybe there'd be a chance saying that, though. I don't think so yet. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a weird, weird episode, but it was a fun one nonetheless. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.